Adrian Rodriguez just has to finish a few more quarters at Riverside Community College before he can pursue his dream of making films full time. Ever since I was like five, you know, was really into like, you know, the horror films, action films, you know, dramas, really into like every type of film. And so, I mean, it's had such like a good experience and positive experience in my life. Watching him is fun, but making him is like the best thing. But the fourth year film student is already making movies like a pro. Made a spine that goes down the neck and it just looks like so detailed. It looks real creepy. The 24 year old filmmaker began making films in high school and he's already thinking big. I want it to look like uh, as much as like, you know, Hollywood film as possible. Rodriguez served as the writer, director, and photographer of The Ritual's End. A witch doctor that moves to America, and these detectives, they want someone killed. That's uh, It's a hard man to track down. He's difficult to kill, so they enlist him, uh, the voodoo doctor, to kill this man, And but in a weird and bizarre way. It's a horror film. It's like horror is just like probably my favorite genre of all time. You know, I grew up on you know, slasher films, all the films from the 80s to the 90s and the new ones too. That is why I fled here to America. Now I know the white man don't... The film was made on weekends over six months last year with the little money he was able to scrape together from working two part-time jobs. To keep the budget down, I was trying to think of like things that I have access to. So I would think like I have access to my aunt's house. She doesn't live there right now, so let me go film in that and dedication from the film's local actors. Okay, these two guys both came in on the same day to audition, and they weren't how I imagined you know, the characters would look, but they gave off like such, they had such good like auditions. I'm like, I'm gonna rewrite it around them. I was lucky enough to cast everybody here, lives you know, in the Inland Empire, you know, San Bernardino, Riverside, and Redlands area. The film received several awards in the RCC Film Festival in the Best Director, Film, and Makeup categories. He also assisted in the production of other films such as Awakening, which won Best Cinematography in the RCC Film Festival. He says he knows he has to work hard to get where he wants to be. Pretty busy, but it's not a negative thing to me. That just means I'm you know, keeping busy and just moving forward. With graduation right around the corner, he hopes to take on a production job to gain the experience he needs. I'm not going to get caught up in like, you know, making a lot of money. I'm not going to tell myself, you know, I'm going to try to find the best paying job. I want to direct, I want to write. So my whole goal is to just keep pushing that and let people know like that's the level, you know, I want to achieve. While making films on his own. My plan is to work on more shorts, maybe raise some money, make a bigger short, um, get into festivals you know, try the festival circuit and see what happens. Just want to make a feature film, something to get out, you know, in the mainstream theaters, something to be seen by a lot of people. Um, my idea of like my perfect type of film is definitely something mainstream. In Riverside, Julianne, non